Welcome everyone. This is a general reading for the sign of Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, or any other planet or anything in the sign of Scorpio for January 2018. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get started. <sighs> okay, I, I, I don't know why I'm sighing. There's something really intense here um, in a positive way, I think. it's a, It seems in like something coming in, right? Either, either you're, you're entering a situation and you're that, that thing or probably more, more of something coming in towards you and they're that thing. You're, you're, you're seeing all of a sudden um, just a, there's a connection, a connection between you and something, whether it's another person, a situation, something. There's a really strong connection, um, really strong. It seems stable. It seems emotional, it seems, um, inspirational, um, it, it seems exciting, um, but, but there's a, there's a back and forth, um, there's kind of a power play going on, there's this sort of cooling down, and a, and a, then, in a, then a, like a warming up, and there's a, there's a, um, there's a, you know, clo closing off, and then kind of like a, an opening, and, and, it's kind of going back and forth like that. It looks like it might be kind of a, um, it's either either just a, a, a regular old kind of power, power play, right? To kind of gain, gain control of the situation it may be, um, whatever this kind of relationship is or whatever, so that you have the upper hand a little bit, right? By pulling, pulling back, not showing too much. Um, or it could also be uh, more of a power play within your own self. I know I always say things like that, but what can I say? Um, because this thing is so, um, in intense, like it almost seems like it could really take you. So you're kind of trying to like hang on to yourself. Right. Um, but it's, I don't know, it's, it's definitely present and it seems like something that you're into exploring, but you don't want to be, um, cap captured by it. Right. It seems like the kind of thing that could really um, get you involved really quickly, and so there's kind of a hesitancy almost. But it's, but it's then balanced by this, um, or not, I guess balanced, but going back and forth between that and this just like, like this, con this connection is really there, you know what I mean? And it's there because you're interacting with it and because you're present with it, um, because you're showing some some something forward um towards it also as well so it's not just one-sided but there's definitely a little bit of a pulling back from one of the energies um or maybe both um that's kind of not not wanting to get totally like swept into this thing or or maybe believe it or something but then there's this energy that looks like it may that may not really matter right that it may kind of happen anyways just because it's happening, <laughs> um, and this, despite the kind of um, any any thing that says it's a little bit too intense or that's causing you to kind of react in, in an opposite direction, it looks like it's kind of um, maybe not really strong enough to counteract whatever this is, which and it looks like a good thing. So I don't, yeah, it looks like a good thing or at least a very strong and powerful thing and. and um, I don't know. It looks good. I'm going to pick these up and I'm going to lay some more cards down and come back with some advice about um, what you can do with this. Whether you whether you should be pulling back a little bit, going into it, or, or whatever you should do. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Here's your advice. Um, what is it again? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting, first of all, that there, there could be um, a risk of idealizing this thing, of course, and that's probably what's causing a little bit of like, or possibly what's causing a little bit of, of that like pullback is that you're just like seeing this thing as like way more than it is. And not only that, but you're, um, of course, I'm, I'm rambling about how great it is a minute ago, but that's what I'm getting is it's kind of like, a, I, an idealistic sense of, <clears throat> of what's going on and they want you to kind of relax on that a little bit right um if you if you um 
it's not about it's not, not about defining things i think right if you start defining things and you define them as really great or you define them as this or that and or you define them unrealistically or you or you define them so, too soon or that kind of thing <coughs> you could run into some some trouble or or continue to to play out this thing, this thing where nothing's going anywhere because you keep pulling back because it's it seems uh, different than it is, right? It's there's some parts missing and it seems like the like the ultimate and it's it's just a normal thing, right? <laughs> in in some sense, it's it's got to be normal, right? So, <coughs> Jesus, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Let me just choke on my own saliva. <coughs> Anyways, um. Yeah, so so avoid defining things and and getting things really set in what you think they are. You can you can definitely use your intuition and try to use your insight, um, but in a way that's in a way that's uh, flexible, right? And do 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 what you act act upon what you kind of like know to be true, um, rather than what you, what it might what might it might seem like, right? Because I'm seeing that you're getting all this information that this thing is like so mm, untouchable maybe or or um, it's it's one certain way, right? It's it's stagnant in its one way. Um, and 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 that for some reason is the information that you're getting is what what is being portrayed to you and that's what what you're picking up on, but you want to like look at what you really know to be true. Like obviously that's not true, right? Nothing is, it's, it's a, just a, whatever this thing is, it's a real thing that you can deal with, like you deal with anything else, or maybe a little bit differently, but you can deal with it because you're also your own thing kind of thing. <laughs> um, so they definitely want you to relax a little bit and kind of go with the flow a little bit for sure. Like go where, go where you're comfortable, do what, do what like feels good and stuff, but don't try not to preface it with all this, um, extra kind of information because it's not, not, maybe not like the, the real information, right? You're be being misled a little bit, whether that's on purpose or just by virtue of, of, you know, something, something being appealing or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, there definitely could be some like self delusions too. So yeah, it could be something that you see that you see as a certain way for some reason, based on your, based on your, um, preconceptions of, of what you're used to and that kind of thing, or what, um, what you're being told or something or what, what it seems like. <clears throat> Or how you're used to things being structured as well, right? Um, if it's if it's a situation specifically, how you're used to situations going, um, you want to kind of take into consideration that all situations are different, um, and it, that and that can't be true. You can't know, right? You you have your knowledge set, and you can work off of that, but it's not um, it's not completely sort of full, you know, you want to be using your intuition and stuff like that, but you don't want to, um, you don't want to put things into boxes and make them rigid. You want to keep them flexible, um, explore, see what you can see. But the only way you can do that is by being really open and be, and being more open, um, minded and being less, uh, less closed off for one, but also I think less closed off to your own, um, not your own, but to the, to the, um, lies and things that are being told told to you that doesn't make any sense less closed off to the lies that doesn't make any sense why did I say that um <laughs> less closed off less closed off to the um why am I saying less closed off maybe I mean to say more closed off I don't know what I'm saying anyways let's talk about something else because I don't know what I'm saying anymore <laughs> um let's see is there anything else I want to talk about <sighs> Yeah, you want to go with things that are that are not necessarily. If something seems like it is very like it is the full story, right? If something seems like it's a certain way and it's that way and only that way and it's perfectly balanced and perfectly even and it's you know it's it's ideal and and you can't get to it like that's that's not true. <laughs> I think is kind of the ultimate thing, but that's not true. And you want to kind of be. Just be more flexible with it. Just be willing to go in and kind of um, move around and move around as yourself. You know, the best thing that you can do, I think, is to keep a strong sense of yourself as a as a um, and as something that's t you know you're taking in information, but it's not um, you're not the definitive 
the definitive kind of, you're not the decider. <laughs> you're not gonna, you can't like take it all in and build this complete picture of what's going on, but you can certainly go into it and you can explore it and you can figure out what's happening and you can um, um, lean into it a little bit, getting a very like relaxed vibe for the, for this kind of like do, do energy, the energy it wants you to portray kind of is a very, um, you know, it's relaxed. It's not relaxed in the sense of, of being like apathetic and cold like I was talking about before as far as like your interactions with this thing. It's relaxed in the sense of like having less um, preconceptions, being less um, less calculated, I guess. It's more, more um, about being kind of informed, but, but um, flexible. I hope that makes sense. I hope that's helpful and makes sense. Um, let me know if it does, or if it did, or if, if, if in the future it will. I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah, let me know, and thank you for watching, and I will see you next time, and goodbye.